My name is Jenna. This is 1111 with Jenna. I am here seven days, seven nights, 14 times a week, right here, right on my personal page, every day, every night, 14 times a week. It's always 1111 somewhere, and I'm really happy that my mom is here. Hey, mom, what's up? What's going on? We're watching a movie downstairs, and who's here? Who's here? William D, William D, William D, Lindemann, ba -da -da -ba -ba -ba. Rob Morocco, hello, sir. Is it cold enough for Morocco yet? I'm waiting. I'm waiting so patiently for the Morocco. I'm also going to put on my glasses. Ooh, what do I have here? Ooh, what do I have here? I love, I love, I love my, my magnetic roots. They're so awesome. They are so awesome. What I like about them, you know, I have my warmers on already, but what I like about them is a lot of fingerless gloves. I'll just have a little conversation here for a second about gloves. They hit in a 17 minus below. What, what, what? Isn't it, are you sure it won't happen yet? But a lot of them, this part right here, this little fingerless part, is thick so you kind of but these are perfect and then they can be mittens that's right how the how the young influencers say mittens or if you have a hey stacy if you have a um stuffed up nose and you need a nose bid do you remember that commercial i need a nose bid but i love trying to be Hello. I love them. Thank you. Ra Morocco. And they stick together. We stick together. They stick together this way so they don't flop around. Who would have ever thought to put magnets to hold them so they don't flip down while you're doing stuff, right? Dun, dun, dun. I love them. They are just, and then when you're, when you're done and you don't want to lose them, you stick them together, which is, you know, it makes it easier to lose two of them at the same time instead of one. I am, I try to be Stacy. I cert certainly do too. Stacy, you're where? DC or New York? Where, where, where are you? I'm going to put on my, my glasses. They're just blue blockers. They don't change anything. I don't even know if they really work. They kind of make everything a little goldish. DC. DC. I wonder if you, I wonder if we know some of the same DC people. It's cold. I think I'm going to put my gloves back on. <laughs> I bet, I bet we do. I'm going to get my tea. Hold on. What does anybody, anybody else have anything? I have tea. Just some, some actually some rose petals. Brian Source. Hello, cousin. What's going on? What's going on? Introduce you. Oh, to my New York or my DC friends. A lot of my DC friends, beer, what kind of beer? Have moved. But I have friends in Virginia, really cool friends in Virginia, super cool friends in Virginia. Oh my God, they're like two of the coolest people, Jerry and Pat Budwig, super awesome people. She has a children's theater group called Starshine Theater and she keeps saying, oh, nice. I'm not, I like that, um, didn't Sam, 
Oh, Sam, Samuel Smith, Taddy, uh, uh, they had a Taddy Porter. I used to like a, a Porter. I'm more of a stout gal, but nice. Um, Saint Stans, that was another one that was good. Back in the day, I don't even know if they make that anymore. I'm aging myself. But um, Pat has Starshine Children's Theater. Yeah, 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 cool. She keeps saying, I really love your show. I want to be on your show, but we just haven't. Bonnie Barker, Bonnie Barker. See, I always have these on. It's, you know, it's just a thing. I'm preparing for Canada. Yeah, the nut brown ale, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I have some stouts in my fridge, but it's really difficult for me to drink a whole stout. So they sit. And because if I drink a whole beer, I'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa. I drink like this, like little, I love the little glasses, the little tasters, like a, a half of a taster. I'm good. But that's why I drink my tea. Um, how's NorCal in the house? 17 below zero. Come on over. Well, sorry, you can't come over. I'll throw them out the window to you. I'll gently, I can lower them. I have a, um, a little, like a little thing to lower things. Because sometimes in the summertime, I don't feel like going up and down and up. So I have a little smart server out my window <laughs> it's kind of fun i've 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 lowered you know like oh they're, no i'm just kidding put it out the window anyway i was thinking about one thing tonight is display and share yellow and i collect spoons you know this one looks kind of I, I go to different places, like if I've one, like people, I like magnets, but I really dig spoons. Where are you? I'm, I'm right here, Stacy. I'm right here. But tonight, Stacy, if you feel like jumping on tonight is display and share. And it means, Stacy, do you know share? Like C-H-E-R? Stacy, do you know share? I'll introduce you to Pat if you introduce me to Cher, if you know her, or if you know anyone that knows Cher. I've come like so close. I would love to have, I'd love to have you, Stacy, on the show, but for sure, I really want Cher. But I collect spoons, like the band Yellow, everywhere. <laughs> it's true, it's true. So yeah, so here's one of my spoons because I was, Mixing in my rose tea, and I have my little spoon, and I bought this spoon in Venice. Yep. And I have a Jamaican one and some Mexican ones, and I bought one in England and NorCal. You know, I just like spoons. I think they're cool. So anyway, I think you guys know what my surprise was last night. You found about out about it today. I didn't know she was going to talk about it today. I thought she was going to talk about it tonight. But since since we are talking about it now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know Cher, though. I worked with her several years ago. You did? You worked with Cher? Stacy? you have to be on the show. And you have to find someone that somebody you know knows how to get a hold of Cher. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Uh, just relaxing. Uh, I, Carol said she was going to show a little more of the painting. And I'm going to be quick because I'm not going to take away from your fabulous, fabulous day. So with this record, Carol's clapping. Uh, so, and you know what? That's a Johnny Mercer song. He started Capitol Records from way back. And I've heard 
I love the Dean Martin version for some odd reason, Andrew Sisters and so on and things like that. But absolutely, uh, this version with Matt Rawlings is killer. So love it. I was my, I was a huge fan you, in, I think, about six years ago, you did one with Rolf Sturm using a guitar, right? Yeah. Which is crazy good on Spark. So I was excited. Actually, where am I here? I'm going to do a little switch. Let me do, oops, not like that. Let's do this. So everybody, oh, did I switch the camera? I did, yeah. Buy this one here. It's going to shine, look kind of goofy. There we go. I don't have the cover on it, but it's spark. So 215. But I also wanted to remind people, remember all those, those Christmas uh, albums I bought, but with the way COVID was in mail, they didn't make it until after Christmas. So, oh so, so for any friends that are listening, you didn't see this, but there's going to be a lot of Jenna. <laughs> there's going to yeah. be a lot of Jenna. Gonna, hopefully, they still have their CD players. That's what people say to me. Oh, I don't want to see it anymore. But, but isn't this cool? I'll just put it right here. I'll just, I'll just put this, this little thing, right up here. Coolest thing, you know. I and I talked to a guy that's in my business world that's in eastern Canada and the first thing he said he was like this Jenna person and, I, and and so he he's one of those lurkers that always pops on and pops off and so and I keep saying oh no man you gotta you know throw your name out there let us know so she knows and stuff but he watches a lot of the shows after so it's pretty cool uh, a lot cool. Of and even my dad I went to his house tonight and and um uh, my mom had passed away, but he's remarried to an older, an Italian lady that I've known now for about 40 years. They're in their mid 80s. And uh, she says, look at this lamp. And she has this cool little tiny lamp that has these flashing colors. And she says, but it doesn't plug in. It had a USB cord, right? They don't have a computer or anything. I said, oh, no, I got to get you the power adapter. And I did it. And I said, you do realize this is a uh, Bluetooth song thing, not just a cool little lamp. And she was like, What's that? And I so I put on your song from Amazon and clicked it on, and I said that's Jenna. And so I was playing lamp, and she was like, "That's what I bought." Like she didn't have any idea. She just liked the little lamp, and she took it home to plug it in because she said, "Oh, it must have a battery." And didn't so is realize it a speaker. The lamp is yeah, a speaker. Yeah, it's a weird, weird looking flame speaker. It's fist, maybe two fist size, but uh, she just thought it was a cool light and thought it was just a, a lamp and. The box had a cord, never doesn't even know what a USB cord is, right? So, so I came home, I got a little power adapter for it, plugged it in, and put her song on. And it, to them, it was like magic. This this thing started, suddenly started singing your song. So, but yeah, very, very cool. Crazy. Yeah, it's what's really cool about it is my dad used to ask me to sing this song all the time. Oh, wow. Will you sing Dream? Will you please sing Dream? And, and then he asked me, what are you going to record? I go, I don't know. What do you want me to record? He goes, we record dream. And I did with Rolf. And then I did it with Matt. And then I sang, I performed it at his funeral, but like of all the songs for Amazon to choose, they chose my dad's favorite one. Yeah. And, and don't kid yourself. They're there. Yeah. Which is a good, huge thing. But they, although they have a team that say, "Hey, we like this song," they're they're looking at how many people, how, how many people have chosen and listened to that song in the year as well to help guide them because they have so many songs. So, so I mean, you you know that meant a lot of people like that song. So, and I played it. I, I listened to God, like Carol will tell you, uh, tens of thousands and thousands of songs of every type you know listening to ones that i like and sometimes an audio file a little snobby looking listening to the ones that sound really good for a live performance that you did it is absolutely simply outstanding like you i don't know how you do it like every song is live for you right but or feels like but but enough of this and my hockey sweater I'll, so that's I'll, so that is that the sorry tell us that hockey team edmonton oilers edmonton so, oilers okay yeah. I have so, heard of that. Yeah. So Edmonton Oilers, Gretzky used to play with us, all that kind of stuff. So Ooh, yeah. So Dwayne Gretzky. So uh, now it's Connor McDavid. He's the new legend superstar that's with us as well. So, uh, but yeah. Connor, Hawkins, McDavid. Connor McDavid. 
You can't yeah, make that kind of a name up. Connor, Connor McDavid. Yep. He's a generational player. So he would be like, um, you know, I, I don't know. I, you know, he, he would be just a player that comes by in decades, right? Uh, 30 years, uh, I, you know, I don't even know who to really compare him to uh, when it comes to other sports, which I'm a huge fan of. But yeah, he's a complete standout superstar, right? And, you know, living the dream in a cold city like Edmonton. So. Hey, and, and it's 17 below zero right now? Yeah, a little bit of a, it's actually not far off normal now. So it's getting close, getting close. Um, I'd say in another week or two, it could, it could get ugly fast. So, and the roads are terrible. Morocco so by next Friday night, maybe? Maybe but we'll do it. I'll, I not, maybe I'll experiment with a Tim Hortons coffee, which is as big as the Oilers up here, maybe a Starbucks and a few others. And we'll see. Maybe what, what if we did some colored water? Yeah, I never thought of that. Like uh, blue or yeah, red or something. Yeah, my, my wife Hi. Is <laughs> we can't fit on we can't fit on the same couch for some. Uh, That's it. But yeah, I'll I'll just have to pay the price in the springtime when I'm like, what the hell is on my deck, right? Or on the, on the cement, but. But that's okay. We'll, yeah, we'll no, no, figure no, no, it out. That. Right, I forgot. Well, yeah, you I've done. Won't it freeze in the air and then you pick it up? Oh no, because it goes all over. Well, it yeah. depends how cold it is. If it's really cold, like when it hits minus forty, minus forty-five, it explodes. So that's okay. It'll hit in as ice or whatever. Oh yeah, I'm I'm good with it. Uh, I like I say, a hose and a pressure washer and everything's good. So, I <laughs> last year we did an egg. I think I cracked an egg because you can actually depending on how cold it is, the egg as it's coming out starts to freeze and it's like this this yellow egg that's standing sideways, right? When it's really cold, so. Yeah. It's, yeah. What about the spa? It's it's backed up. I'm, I literally need to take reservations. <laughs> so, so this morning there was uh, two pelated woodpeckers. Uh, I'm not sure, you probably have in Michigan, but the huge Woodpeckers with the red head, they look, they're monstrous. Uh, and then tons of little birds waiting for them to get out of the way. Then they jumped in and dived in. Because the colder it gets, the, you know, it's the only source of, you know, readily available water outside of, I don't know how they do it in the wild, drink, magpies. eat snow. Magpies, we even have a magpie that magpies. I've been watching. Magpies, magpies. Yeah. There's one magpie that has a beak that's kind of twisted. I think it's a disease, but... It's like just whoop, open, like it, it, both bills, you know, stick out. And I keep thinking, how's he poke stuff? But he's been around for a couple of years now. So he came to the bowl today. It's not and, curled, is it? Yep. So it curls up both oh, ones. Oh, curls up. Both yeah, of the them. bottom one, the bottom one's up. Sorry, the top one's up and the bottom one's down. So oh. he doesn't have like pointer parts, which is probably good as a predator. He's not attacking the sparrows or stuff like that very easily. But he looks healthy and happy and and every once in a while i sneak some baloney for those guys even though I'm, for the birds you know, for the magpies of all the birds that everybody hates around they're everywhere in edmonton they're annoying they're loud but they, they eat anything but every once in a while i'll bring i actually buy baloney and just put a few pieces on the fence far away and they're just like oh, you know uh, but, you could give a bird baloney yeah, yeah uh, they're meat eaters. They're meat eaters. They'll eat anything, yeah. anything. Scavengers. Scavengers. They'll they'll even. I had to I had to chase one. I'm like the protector, right? I chased one because <laughs> I thought, what has he got in his mouth? You know, the little bugger. And I scared him enough that he dropped this little sparrow flu because he had got it by the the wing kind of thing. I guess he's taking it away to to get it. But I saved this little guy, and so he was happy. I protected him from all the bully magpies. So I just got anyway. I just texted to show this again. I'm showing it again. I love magpies and there's a really great um secondhand store in Fairfax, California called Magpie. Oh wow. there it is. Messed yeah. up. And Matt Rawlings, I mean Matt is just like like platinum, you know, perfect piano player. I play how with you, fabulous musicians. I just do. I don't know how you find like the all the they just come to you, I guess. Right? Well, I but, met Matt. Uh, it's a long story. I met Matt in, in um, 
it's kind of a fun story. I had two cousins that lived in Nashville, my two, uh, Vicki and Tracy, and they're gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous sisters. And a friend of mine knew that I was going to be in Nashville, who's a drummer. And he said, if you, um, oh, you're, that's cool. Yeah, magpie. Yep. One more time. Here, I'm showing it one more time. Best of 2021. Top 50, Jenna Mamina, Matt Rawlings, dream. Thank you, Amazon. Thank you, Amazon. Um, so my friend Ben said, you're going to Nashville, you have to call my friend Matt. So I call Matt, this was years ago, 25 years ago. Hi, Matt, my name is Jenna Mamina. Um, I'm a friend of, and I said, my friend's name is like, you're here, we need to hang out, where are you? I go, well, I'm staying at my cousin's house. Where's your cousin? Do you like sushi? I'm going to pick you up. We're going to go out. I'm, and I'm like, cool. All right. So I get ready. My cousin has the shotgun, really cool apartment. Like I said, my two cousins are just like gorgeous, stunning, fall on the floor women. And um, he knocked at the door and my cousin Vicky answered the door and he goes, Jenna, like that. And she goes, no, 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 I'm Vicky, I'm her cousin. And he goes, oh, well, I'm Matt. She's like, yeah, yeah, we know who you are because he's kind of big time. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So um, I know it's kind of cool. But um, so then he was walking in with Vicky and all of a sudden Tracy is walking in from the next part of the house and he goes, Jenna? And she goes, oh, no, 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 I'm Tracy. I'm her cousin, Jenny. He's like, wow, you got, this is crazy. You're beautiful. Wow. And then I walked out and he goes, please be Jenna, because I can't handle any more of this beauty. And we all just have, like, to this day, we'll still have a laugh about, remember when we met Matt? But oh um, so we've been friends. He's been playing with Lyle Lovett since he was 17 years old. Oh, wow. And he's played with everybody he actually has produced willie nelson's last two records Grammy right award-winning records matt rawling i never knew produced. that and so that's yeah. so cool and lyle and love is right here i think it's fabulous that's like uh, when i can hear it on my system and it's just outstanding i mean again you guys it feels like you're playing in the middle of the the room the speakers are non-existent they don't they don't they, they disappear so it's just a, this sound stage and it's and the better the song is especially live and the way he plays and your position it was fabulous fabulous actually and before i get this mug off this screen here that doesn't belong uh for this night for the displaying chair just to know there's a site you you probably maybe you know ps audio does that sound familiar to you yeah 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 so ps audio is a high-end audio file site and Paul McGowan, one of the, the, the owners, has this great, you know, uh, audio file segments that he does from readers things. But when I was on their site last week looking at some new equipment, they they have a lot of Jenna Mamina and Ralph, and Ralph Sturm videos off YouTube playing on their site as well. So either they, they connect them, but because of the audio file quality. They're probably so from Cookie's site. Maybe cookie site, but they're actually YouTube videos, the ones where you guys are kind of starting the music and you're you're going at it. So it was pretty cool. Really? It's a little bit everywhere. Yep. So hopefully a residual check is on its way now that I send a letter to Paul. Say <clears throat> send the check. Anyway, I can't say that anymore. <laughs> well, I was gonna ask you something. Let me think. Was it about the spa? About the Edmonton Oilers, how good we are. Well, that's it. Are you are you a good team? <laughs> Yeah, we're we're a good rated team at this point. So, but there's still a hundred, you know, fifty games to go. Too many games in in our world. So. How many well, games are there in a year? Actually, they play. Um, uh, what is it? Ninety games, approximately. So lots, and then they play playoffs for three months. So there you go. So, but. I'll pass you to my wife because I, I want to make it about your thing, but uh, just for the no, people. No, 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 display and share. Anybody jump on. But you guys, we're going to see. Yes. And next week, I'm I'm going to be singing 
Christmas songs, holiday songs, um, at the with the symphony. So uh, yeah, nice. looking forward. I know you're practicing. So I'm excited about yeah. that. So cool. So I'm gonna move exactly. the camera away. Float on down. There you go, and I'll I'll put it to my better half. Hi. Hello. How are you? Friends? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Look at you and your cool that Zikle right above your head. And this shirt is really cool. Are you <laughs> a pink girl? Am I what? Are you a pink girl? You, do you like to wear pink? No. It's the only <laughs> pink thing I own. I don't I have like three things I and I, I put it on people and go, oh my gosh, you look incredible in pink. Because I was gonna say you look really great in pink. And I go, I have like three things that are pink and and why I even had those three, I think someone gave them to me kind of thing. But yeah, I like you in pink. Well, thank you. This is actually Stephanie's. She ordered it for herself, but it was way too big. So she gave it to me. That's why I, the only pink thing I have. <laughs> Yeah. Probably will only be the only pink thing I'll ever have yeah. too. I get it. What colors do you like to wear? Black. Yeah. White. Johnny Cash black. <laughs> Same thing. I'm, me too. Black. I have this green on and it's just like like it's wow green. Yeah. yeah. Maybe blue. Dark. I don't yeah. know. Most just... most of your wardrobe is like Hillary, you know, uh, Clinton, you know, pantsuits, power pants and stuff. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I think I have a few dresses, but just not a dress person at all. I used to dress up for work and I got sick of it. So I just don't like to do it anymore. Hey, no need because you your work is way more important than dressing up any particular way. Yeah, now I don't have to dress up when I work. <laughs> How is the work going? Ooh, I have this heart. I can it's very slow. To, well, it's nearly well, finished. No, it's not. Okay. Are you insane? <laughs> I'm building expectation. Oh my god! <laughs> Today, I finally finished blocking in the rest of the hat. <gasps> really? And dry, and then I can start bringing the other colors into it. Wow. And I other colors working. into the hat. Yeah, because I just um. This, all of this, I blocked it all in. This. this has some of the, some additional color brought into it, but I finished up in here and here today. What a long process. So once it dries, I can start doing the same thing that I have up here on the rest of it. You guys, this is a painting. You dig? Can you, can you go in on? I mean, it's like this floating hat. Yeah, <laughs> it's not grounded at all. <laughs> and, and I can attest how much time she puts into that. So Carol just about didn't want to do this painting because of this hat, <laughs> but. So, I love yeah. how you can actually see the fuzz on the hat. On the top part. I have to do that to the rest of it now. Yeah, I'm not sure if my iPhone is blitzing here, but. But yeah. at least now that I have it blocked in, I can start adding all the other colors to it. But I can also now go and work on other parts of the painting because I'll put more colors out on my palette. Right now I'm just working with three colors. Yeah. So there will be other colors on the hat. Yeah, like on this part, you can see there's light pinks and different shades of the magenta color and white and there's a little bit of cream. So I have to do the same sort of thing on all the rest of the hat. And I, there's areas like that I have to darken and areas that I have to lighten. So that'll take quite a bit of time, but at least if I get sick of working on it, I can go and I'll probably start working on her little shirt or other parts of the painting. Stop it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be like pro camera guy with you in the picture. You're escaping no, all the time. Out of it. 
So yeah, the hat is old. Like you got to remember, these are very, very poor people in Ecuador. Yeah. So, uh, so the hat didn't look like a brand new hat. It had all the issues yeah. and things, right? So. When you go to Ecuador, what do you take there? What do I take? What do you take then? Do you take pencils or do you take clothing? Or now they probably all want iPads, but. Oh, God, no. They wouldn't even. They would have no. Place to plug them in for power? No, they have power, but they wouldn't have like any kind of internet access. Right, right. What do they, love, the what do they love to receive as gifts? What do they love to receive? What it gift wise. They like little toys and stuff. So we, yeah, we take we would usually take a lot of clothes and shoes, mittens, hats, warm clothing, like little blankets for babies. And then I would usually get like a bunch of like little toys and stuff that we could give the kids when they come to the medical clinic. And, you know, like um, little candies or little treats that we can hand out to them as well. Toothbrushes, little like toothpaste, um, like a lip balm, like Listex kind of stuff, you know, or chapstick because they, at the higher altitudes, sure. with the wind and the cold air, it's really hard on their lips. So we would take things like that, as much stuff as we could uh, get there yeah. in our suitcases, basically, it, and hockey bags. As they're younger, they have rosy cheeks, but as soon as they're in their 40s, the skin turns to leather, literally looks like, you know, well, they age. I have really, can have really red cheeks too as adults, but yeah, the little kids have very red cheeks. They really remind me of kids from up in the Tibetan plateau. They mm. have that same kind of look to them on their cheeks and their their skin. It's harsh conditions that they live in in yeah. some of those remote yeah. areas. We would have just been returning now and it's on the equator. So it's not like, you know, south or north. We're, we're at the equator when we're there and the average temperature is like 36 to 40 Fahrenheit and below zero at night. Mm -hmm. uh, not below zero, sorry. I keep getting Celsius mixed in, but it would go down to 30, 28 in some, some parts. And it's, so that's kind of what it's like year round there. Um, yeah. and, and some days it gets up to 50 Fahrenheit because of the altitude at you know, 12, 13,000 feet and higher. And it's just, yeah, so that's the people live in that kind of just odd world. But the place, um, Kayambe is like the town where we stay in when we go there and then we drive up to remote conditions. And in Kayambe, you can have like really, really warm weather to where you can walk around with just a t-shirt on and even like short pants. But as soon as you get up into the higher elevations, it can be pretty, pretty cold. And because you're right on the equator, if the sun is shining, you can be cold, but you can still get like really bad sunburn. <laughs> so I found out because I didn't put my sunscreen up high enough one day. And I just like had this huge red strip right around my head from sunburn. And it, I was wearing a winter jacket the entire time. Like it's crazy. Yeah, um, kind of like the hat picture, you know, the, yeah. the floating yeah, that's hat. What my head looked like. <laughs> Can you show, Rob, can you show us these other two beautiful pieces of art that are floating above Carol's head for us? I, I never yeah. tire of looking at your works. So. Oh, these one, this one, this one's an original. I think this is one that you did. Yeah. Uh, and this was actually, you can explain it. The very first. Oh, let me see if I can do this or this. That's the very first one of people that I did. They're honey hunters in Nepal. So they are they're from the same group as these people. Are. Yeah, this that, one. That, that's a print. This is a print, but it was the color was not corrected to the original that was that's on our main floor. So these. It's not as yeah, it's not as yeah, it's just this one didn't come out well. This is actually a print print, but uh, these people are up on the trees. Honey uh, hunters. Yeah. 
they follow honeybees and collect the honey from like really high up in the trees or up in cliffs, like 70, 80, 90 feet up in a tree or hanging up in cliffs. They climb up on these ropes with sticks in their mouths that are smoking and that's all they have to keep the bees away from them. They have no nets over their faces, nothing. And they go up and they take down giant cones and then they sell it for, you know, whatever little bit of money they can get. And they buy fishing hooks and stuff. And they just travel around. They, they're, they're nomads. One of the very last group of nomadic people living in Nepal. I don't even know if they even have that same lifestyle now from the time when I first painted these because there were so few of them left. Yeah, terrible earthquake there too. Yeah, a few years back. Yeah, so. yeah, terrible earthquake there. So yeah, they, they've been in National Geographic and some of the documentaries as the last of the last, right? So. Yeah, the last of the honey hunters. And is the other painting sitting over there in the corner still? Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she, she won't take that away until she hits certain colors for the one that she's doing now. And then she's going to go back and do the little colors that she wanted on here. Oh, you did? There you go. You know, when you did your, uh, uh, the fundraiser, as you called it in the, the 1111 show, she, you could, I could have filmed her from the start to the end of the show. And you might have saw like, like an inch by an inch and a half worked on me. So. <laughs> but it was so great to see you on the roller coaster. For a couple of people that have just joined in, we're we're here with Carol and Rob Morocco. And Carol is a fantastic painter. And she's painting this paint. This painting is done, but she has a painting over to Rob's left that she's working on right now that's just un unbelievable. The floating hat. I'm going to miss it when there's a face below it. Right? It's, 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 <laughs> what happened? Guys, now? that's a painting. Hello. Yeah, and then this, uh, this is the other girl here. Uh, so, yeah. Are you? Can you tell them about the one you want to paint? The, the next one, next one? Can you show me? Hi, Keith. Hi. Little kid from Rwanda? No, the scenery one. We're coast to coast, coast to yeah. coast. Show, show, see if you can pick up. She's going to show you a painting that's what's that cued twice. That you, it's in your queue for two paintings from now. I'm trying to really work her hard and get her like <laughs> going. Like, come on, turn these paintings out. You know, she she'll ask for a coffee and I'll put like four spoons of you know coffee in it or something. This one I'm doing for myself. So yeah, check this out. I think this will be cool. She's maybe I got to do it this way. Yeah, this right. way. I think, yeah. Oh, wow. Whoa, wait, wow. And the colors in the That's sky. The so, photo. Yeah. Of prayer flags and stuff. And yeah, it's a, it's a uh, stupa in Nepal. Which I don't I, know what it means. But <laughs> like rocks, uh, piled up rocks. Piled up rocks. It's, it's, <laughs> Pile of rocks. She gets, she gets mad at me. It's, their, it's where they pray. It's their. That's yeah. Their... Yep. I thought so. That's a, how it's a Buddhist <laughs> stupa or torton. I don't know. They call them different things. Yeah, this whole place is like. I um, do that one for myself. You know, she's got this bell thing there. I'm scared to do what this oh, is. That's right. It's a, yes, you're not supposed to touch it. I can't even get it. Okay, there we go. That's her. That thing. She's got little Buddha's things. My stuff. Hair wheel. This thing, I like I say, I'm not too, it frightens me being a Catholic. I'm like, what the heck? That's Ganesh. That's Ganesh. Oh, yeah. Steph got that for me for Christmas one year. There we go. I don't know. That's like, Ganesh, Ganesh is like the blessed mother. That's okay. That's what it is. Okay, then I feel better. And bells and prayer wheels. Yeah, don't, so don't your process is Stacy Barrett is asking about your process. You take a very photo. Slow. <laughs> slow. A very slow process. So, so what's your thought? Like, how do you get to a painting? Again, this is, I don't want to take if someone else is going to join in, we'll 
escape quickly, but <laughs> your process, go. Go, go, Rob says, drink more coffee, go, go paint. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. I gotta you, get you painting tonight. You mean from when I first start the painting? Yes. First I sketch it. Which but first you, you, you usually are the photographer of the, the yes. image. Or if I find a, paint, a photo that I really, really like, then I track down the photographer to get permission to paint it. And then once I have permission to paint it, then I'll sketch it. And I generally, usually always um, paint the entire thing in using just two colors. It's kind of like a, a base coat. I didn't do it with this one. I'm going to go back to doing that. <laughs> I find it, I'm so used to doing it that way. Morocco, what'd you do, man? I can only get fat finger. Does it work now? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. So I do a base, I kind of like paint the whole thing in just two colors. And then I start to layer the colors over top. I didn't do that with this one. I'm going to go back to doing that on my next one. <laughs> Are you? Yeah, I'm just so used to it that um, I don't know. I just, I'm going to go back to it. I, it just gives me a level of comfort that I don't have with this one, which was probably good that I didn't because if I had to do that hat two times, I'd have probably. I killed it. <laughs> I just think it's just phenomenal. <laughs> I wouldn't want to have to paint that thing two times. So it's yeah. a wool. Good yeah. thing I didn't. But, but the one, the one thing yeah. she didn't say, you know, for the progression of the paint is that she actually, for two weeks before, it's like this thing hits her in the head. She starts envisioning it, like she doesn't sleep well. She stirs, you know, because she's got to get this, you know, like it's this mind process you know, takes over, right? I still so. have that. At night, sometimes I'll go to bed and in the middle of the night, I'll be laying in bed and I'll be thinking about how I'm going to do a certain part of it or what effect I want it to have. Like right now I have it <clears throat> blocked in, but last couple nights I was laying awake for hours actually thinking about how I'm gonna do the additional layers on top of it, what I want it to look like, what kind of effect I want it to have. So sometimes in the middle of the night, I'll lay there thinking for like a couple of hours or always when I start their faces, cause I always start with the eyes when I start the face, I'll think about it for days ahead of time during the night when I should be sleeping how I'm going to, where exactly I'm going to start, how I'm going to do it. It's just, I don't know how to explain it. It's so it is always from a, from an image, a photo. Yeah, because I, I couldn't hold that kind of an image in my mind and, and paint from it. I'm just not that kind of. Uh, yeah, I totally understand. I couldn't either. If it was something like really abstract and simplistic. Yeah, I could paint it from my head. But for something like that and that size, that much detail, no, I have to have something that I can reference and refer to. But then I always try to uh, like not make it exact, exactly like the, the photo. Mm. I do something a little different yeah. with it. Yeah, because this one, you you know, you've taken the photos, but you adjusted it to what you liked. And... Yeah. And that's what I lay in bed at night thinking about is that part of the painting, what I'm going to do different and certain portions of it. I want, like I like to, I don't know how to explain it. Um, yeah, Make Bob Ross. Yeah. Not Bob Ross. <laughs> just kidding. Have a, like a different like softer effect or something like that on it it's i don't know it's hard to explain but it's it's keeps me awake at night sometimes trying to figure out 
My friend yeah. Stacy just said, so you go take photos and interpret with your experience of being there. Yeah. 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 And um, I don't know, I try to in the way that I paint it. And that's the part of like not making it to look just like the photo, try to make it a little bit different. My focus is more on like trying to bring out the mood or the feeling of that moment when you meet those kids and you see them and you interact with them and see what their personalities are like, if that makes any sense. I don't know. But yeah, that's so that's what I try to do. Well, I haven't, you haven't had one of these tonight. So here you go. <laughs> and you have another new fan Stacy has I don't think Stacy had seen your work and neither had my friend Keith oh so, well, you, you know what she has so many pictures and paintings that are stored everywhere she just gets mad for me to show them she has other ones that we don't hang on the walls so it's just quite a collection of them so and my dad well, next time I'm we have a chance for me to pop on I told my dad you're going to be on on a, on a show and he's like Okay, you know, he's, he's good with it. And Carol has a huge painting there that she did of his home in Italy where he grew up as a little kid. Um, so yeah, that to, and we gave it to him on his 65th birthday. And you know how stoic parents are, especially Italian parents. Well, yours, your, your, your dad was incredible, you know, from all things told for, to me. But my dad was like, he was just instant tears. He couldn't, you know, hold back. And that was- I was thinking about that painting the other night. And if I was to redo it, what I would do differently on it is weird. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that one, yeah. I but I do I I work with her to help shape what's you know, I don't <laughs> I'm I'm like, uh, should I open the door and tell her that, you know, supper's downstairs or this was if she's going or like, or do I just let her keep painting? That's about <laughs> that's my extent, you know. And I try to remember what she did yesterday because when I come back up. And I, and I look at it, I go, that looks good. And I'm like, oh, you worked on this part, you know, because if I don't remember, she's, she's like, I was even there. I even did that side today. I you always tell when you don't know where I've been working on it. Well, it's hard because it's take like, well, like Jen has been seeing this for how long now? Like probably uh, six weeks, right? Oh, longer. Maybe, you know. I started six. this, I think I started painting on it towards the end of August. Yeah, it was in the summertime. There you go, see, and it'll go faster and faster as you get closer to the hard parts. But yeah, the but, hair will yeah, do you ever do you ever bring food up for her and you know put it under the door or something? Like <laughs> no, no, I I I come down every now and then to get something to drink or to have a snack or yeah that sort of thing. Like when I'm when I'm honest with the hat when there were sections where I absolutely couldn't see any of the lines that I had sketched in and I have to do it all just, you know, looking at the photo and painting it in with a paintbrush was, that was frustrating. And I would look for excuses to put my brush down and go downstairs and oh, the dog needs a treat. The dog needs to go outside. Cause it just kind of like, Sometimes when you're in a really difficult spot, it's like hard to sometimes when, motivate when you yourself. Work from home, you can you come up with, oh well, I need to go rearrange yeah. living room oh, furniture now. Yeah, I mm -hmm. should do some laundry. I think the toilets need to be scrubbed, kind of thing, because yeah. you're dreading, just dreading the difficult. Do Do you have the same thing as like a uh performing artists when you're hitting a hard song or you're a block that you're, you get into that same thing oh or? yeah i have to go or or after a show i'll do that i'll come home and like last night when cookie you know did this whole zoom and awarded me with that and they were all clapping and i went and cleaned my toilet afterwards i was like oh, <laughs> I'm clean my toilet but yeah if i'm working on something i actually like to be um when I'm learning, really learning a song, I want to have distractions around me so that, because when I'm performing, usually there are a lot of distractions. 
people talking, people moving around, doing stuff. So if I have other stuff going on, I, I kind of grok it better after a while, after I've learned it. Uh, yeah. That's probably because you've done so much live performance. Yeah, I mean, I've watched doing. people, they're eating and drinking and, in in you know, I, I yeah, I've, I've seen it all. Yeah, yeah, Stacy said he had seen your work before, but my amazement is renewed. Oh, my amazement is renewed every day. I could look at your work every day and I would still, my mind would just melt. Well, thank you. Incredible. So inspiring on such a high, it's such a high level. But yeah, like I'm learning and I learn by repetition. So yeah, if I'm sitting here doing something, I'm learning it and I go, oh, I better put away the juicer and put it or put it back together so I can be there, you know? Yeah. Oh, and, oh, I might as well, like you said, do the laundry and do the other seven <laughs> things before. Yeah, because yeah. I find otherwise, you know, I might, if I just sit there when I'm doing a really difficult section and if I don't do that, I think I would overwhelm myself to the point where I just might not pick up a brush again. I might just say like, please don't ever say that. <laughs> screw it and walk away from it. So if I just, you know, walk away for a few minutes, I, a lot of times I'll just sit down and I'll just look at it. Uh -huh. And then I'm able to go back and it's almost like you see it differently when you come mm -hmm. back to it. I don't know. It's, yeah. it's, it's weird. Like if you're staring at it too long in frustration, it's like that old saying, you can't see the forest for the trees. And if you just take a step back, walk away and you come back, you kind of see it in a, in a new way, oh. not, not through the eyes of like frustration. Yeah. So lots of little, <laughs> lots of little breaks sometimes on difficult areas. Okay, here's another one for you. <laughs> and, for, and, and for Rob, for being such a great cameraman tonight. Thank you. Thank you. You think it was a tripod I'm doing so good, but it's... I know, there's, there's very little movement happening there. No white no, no candle, nothing to support. Pretty it. kind. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's a good guy. cameraman. Great. He's a good eye with cameras. He should, I've always told him that when he retires, he should take up photography. He has a great eye for photography. He really does. He should, and, and maybe do some stand up comedy. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Until I get egged off the stage for <laughs> yeah. my humor. No. But I, I mean, especially it's, that's why Carol always thought when I, when we first talked about the Jenna Mamina show, and then she's like, are you saying jokes or stuff? She's like, <laughs> you will be done on that show within months. Like they won't even, you will, you'll be trying to dial on it. I'll say, sorry, you know, Locked. not available, not available. And I think you came, did you come on before Christmas or was it after it Christmas? Did November. Okay, that's not so. Yeah, so it's been a year. Yeah, uh, a little well, over we'll a year. Have you. As long as you get back on those roller coasters, brother, you know, just keep it. Ready. Keep I'm us ready. I'm, I'm ready for craziness for sure. So. <laughs> But, but next time you got to go to the beach. Yeah. You know, doing the, you know, live from the tube on your next fundraiser, I'll do the beach. Go I'll, I'll, I have to wear a one. I'll be there you know. for the beach. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, uh, you see to doing live spots there would be great. I'll take you to the, the river Valley. Uh, we'll, we'll maybe do some, you know, there's Jenna Mamina in front of a grizzly bear that's coming slowly toward right. us. You know, yeah, cool. And then, and then we'll grab some peanut butter on her back. She doesn't know. <laughs> you know, like like how Lillian did these paintings. We'll do a painting with with Carol. That's it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you know, Lillian can paint. I'll let Lillian do the painting. Speaking of, she's glaring at me like, Mom, are we All going right. outside tonight? So I'm, I'm going to jump off. You guys, thank you, thank you, thank you thank so much. Thank you. Carol, it, it is just, it, it make, you make my mind so much more expansive and appreciative, appreciative and just incredible. Well, thank just you. Incredible. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here and thank you for taking the time. And yes, one more for you, Rob Morocco. 
Good job, Rob. Do you guys and have congratulations credits? to you once again. Thank you. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. I know. It's kind of cool. Like, you know, Very cool. like it's never I happened got, before. So I got into an argument with my A-L-E-X-I-A today trying to download your song. That that song. And it was it just can't understand it, but our dog was you know grunting and growling and alexa like for me it's it i want to take like she has a sonos device up here i want to open the window and throw it out that's how yeah. i feel like now and carol's like let's calm down let's calm down <laughs> but it's all over I, I when i checked on amazon you know of course on all the other can I, we, we have apple we've got you know title and so on stuff so it's it's locked and loaded uh so it's wow. very difficult today yeah, this is always difficult. I've never been around an Alexa. I don't know. Don't, don't run. She's listening. That's all I can yeah, say. Yeah, she's listening right oh, now. Oh, they're listening to us right now. Yeah, I, actually. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. times we've been watching a movie, and if they accidentally say a name that sounds like it, she'll start talking. Yeah. Like, hey. <laughs> Out of the blue. And we have to tell her to stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's crazy. And for what? We only, we don't, why do we even have Alexa? Oh, she came on. <laughs> Go back, Mark. Leave for, us my, alone. for my music. But anyway, we better jump off because it's a long night for you. We hogged the whole show again. Of course. Oh, you're but just hoggers. Can you give me a letter, please? D for dream. D. Oh, good one. D, 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 Thank you. I will be dreaming that I can paint just like you, Carol. And I will be dreaming, yes. Rob, just like those birds out there in the spa eating baloney. Oh my goodness, that is wild to see. I hope that all of you have a wonderful night and day tomorrow. Cause dee 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 Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, stay safe. Stay healthy and be real nice. And if you have a CD player, I could sell you some once or twice tomorrow or the next day I'll have them on me, yes. So from your thoughts, make them delightful thoughts. And from your words, make them daring words. And from your heart, oh, just, what's a good D? D for for, for dong. <laughs> Sorry, Carol. I, I don't know if we have to do a prayer thing or something like that now, but we'll do something. Okay. Make it a just, just, just like Nike says, just do it now. Have a great night. Thank you, Canada. Thank you, thank you, Canada. Thank you all coast to coast. Thank you, Mama Grace. I love you most. Yes, I do. Thank you, Stacy. I will see you real soon. And I'll introduce you to my friends and everyone really love hard. Make it a dreamy. There you go, Mama. <laughs> Dream when you're feeling blue. Dream, that's the thing to do. No, take it off of me. <laughs> Watch the smoke rings rise in the air. You'll find your share of memories there. So make it a dream heart. That's the way I'll start. Yes. And right now I will say good morning to you. One more thing I will say and I'll sing it to you now. Just Love hard. How hard, Carol? Really hard. <laughs> Good night.